weird trail of tree branches here for whatever reason. Like, so that mine, what was going on today? It's kind of interesting reading this one where apparently there were people testing out drones that can land on uneven surface or slanted ones as an example, like a roof. It's kind of interesting. This one here says, small multi-rotors are not capable of landing in complex situations such as on inclined surfaces in wind gusts or at high impact velocities. It's kind of cool you can see in the video. It doesn't look like it's a quote smooth landing, but I guess nonetheless it actually lands. And I guess with the paper they reference, it says here, this paper explores the use of lightweight friction shock absorbers combined with rapid thrust reversal to increase the landing envelopes of a quadcopter. The friction shock absorbers serve to dissipate the drone's kinetic energy and the reverse thrust increases the maximum slope inclination at which it can land. A landing gear prototype was designed and implemented on a DJI F450 and a model was created to generate landing maps to evaluate its benefits. Finally, the technology was tested in real outdoor conditions. The overall system enables drones to safely land on surfaces of up to 60 degrees and at a vertical speeds of up to 2.75 ms, thus increasing the landing envelope by a factor of 8 compared to traditional multi-rotors. I know there were those other drones before too, the ones that could hang on walls as an example. So it's kind of cool to see these types of innovation, I guess, going ahead. These are the type of things that needs to be done, not just focus on things always, for example, just longer battery life and all that. You need stuff like this as well to adapt to various situations. And this was interesting to think about. Not too long ago, even here, you had government officials saying, never fly your drones around natural disasters, even though it could be benefiting and helping people. How about this one here? This one says, Marlboro Sounds resident puts drone up so Bach owners can check slip damage. A Marlboro Sounds resident has been doing her holiday home neighbors a favor by getting and sharing drone photos of the flood damage. Kanepuru Road resident Amanda Rudkin was dropping her children off to school in Wadaria Bay when from her boat she realized the enormous amount of land movement in a lot of the bays. We need to share this, Rudkin told her husband. Because imagine if we were away and you are seeing pictures of slips, you are hearing a buck is going down the hill, you are hearing all of this and nobody can get to your property. Rudkin started sharing the pictures on Kenapuru Facebook group and was quickly overwhelmed with thanks and requests. A farmer asked her to fly her drone over his remote property to check if a light was still on to see if it still had power. So I guess with taking pictures with her drone and all that, everyone kind of, I guess, was appreciative of her doing it and even asked her like, it says here, hey, can you take a picture of my area? What a great example of using the tech in a good way to help others. Now, can you imagine, for example, again, with things like over the top regulations trying to justify it with these sensational examples, going to hit an airplane, no natural disasters. In my opinion, this is a classic example, again, on how more people could probably use it in a good way versus those crazy examples of like, I don't know, toy drones flying 10,000 feet in the air, hitting aircraft and all that. And this was kind of neat, I guess, was space, I guess, types of information. People often say in space, there's no sound, but I guess this one here would show otherwise. How about this? This one says, the misconception that there is no sound in space originates because most space is a vacuum, providing no way for sound waves to travel. A galaxy cluster has so much gas that we picked up actual sound. Here it's amplified and mixed with other data to hear a black hole. So you can kind of hear it. Sounds kind of, I don't know, eerie per se. It actually does sound like something you've heard from a movie before. You can kind of hear it here. Is the sound in the galaxy what you expect? I wouldn't be surprised if basically there's so much stuff that we don't know. It's kind of like what I said before, when it comes to things like, I don't know, space and all that, it's cool. But the other thought is with how big it is, it makes you realize how small you are and how little we actually know, I suppose.
All right. See you guys later.